Prabhakara active c. 7th century was an Indian philosopher grammarian in the Mimamsa tradition. His views and his debate with Kumari Labhata led to the Prabhakara school within Mimamsa. The Prabhakara school is considered to be Nastic atheistic or Lokayata school. Kumarila said, for in practice the Mimamsa has been for the most part converted into a Lokayata system, but I have made this effort to bring it into a theistic path. Salakanatha wrote commentaries on Prabhakara in the 8th century. <laughs> <laughs> Sentence vs. word meaning One of the views of the Prabhakaras is that words do not directly designate meaning, any meaning that arises is because it is connected with other words anvitabhidana, anvita. <laughs> Connected, abheda Denotation we know or learn the meaning of a word only by considering the sentential context which it appears, we learn such word meanings together with their possible semantic connections with other words. Sentence meanings are grasped directly, from perceptual and contextual cues, skipping the stage of grasping singly the individual word meanings this is very similar to the modern view of linguistic underspecification, and relates to the dynamic turn in semantics, which opposes the purely compositional view of arriving at sentence meaning. The Prabhakarukas were opposed by the Bhartakas, who argued for a compositional view of semantics called In this view, the meaning of a sentence was understood only after understanding first the meanings of individual words. Words were independent, complete objects, a view that is close to the Fodorian view of language. See also Tripati Pratyaksavada Prabhakara's doctrine of triple perception Kayatavada Anubhava Hindu thought. Notes <laughs>